Welcome back, guys. We got a review of this. This is the LM590 by Lore. Um, I ordered it in for a customer that was really interested in it. So we're going to go through and check out the features and uh, see how this stacks up. Okay, this is the Lore LM590MS. I think M or S stands for satin is my assumption. So really nice satin finish. Um, let's see. It's a pretty heavy two-tone sunburst. They don't have a black edge on it. Um, kind of basic binding, but very nice. Good attention to detail. Now, for the setup, I had to drop it all the way down to get it to where I like it. Um, so it could be that it needs a little bit more work to be able to get lower. Um, but yeah, really nice etching on that. Pardon my fingerprints. I always tell a lot by the scroll work on a mandolin. And this one looks pretty good as far as the finish. Attention to detail. I love when they have this. I'm not sure. Maybe that's structural. Um, but I know I have it on my old A-style Gibson mandolin. Uh, let me know if you know what that's for or the, if there's a function to it. Really nice. I. It's kind of an interesting thing seeing the satin flame maple back, but absolutely beautiful. Really nice book match on that. Only the front binding, the little block purfling in the front. Burst on the neck. Tuners look good. They feel good. Replaceable buttons at the top. That's great. Black binding on the neck with the white binding on the body. Interesting. Looks like a binding. Hard to tell a little bit. Fret work, look, fret work looks good. Feels good. Finished well. Nut cut's good. Okay, everything looks pretty good. Let's, uh, neck angle is good. Nice swell on the scroll. Okay, let's go try it. Okay, so the weight's really nice. F-style, traditional, feels really nice. Um, just kind of regular. Um, okay, the F-style feels good. Weight's great. Finish is great. Uh, satin finish on the neck. And it's got a little bit of a V to it. It's not as extreme as like my early uh, pre-war Gibson. Um, but it's like a, a rounded V. I think they call it an oval vintage V shape. Um, but it feel, feels the hand like really, really nice. Feels consistent all the way from the nut to the neck. So there's not a big adjustment there. Um, we're gonna play a little bit. I uh, dropped the action just a little bit from the factory, but the factory setup uh, felt pretty good, just higher than I like it, so. Disclaimer, I'm not a full-time mandolin player, so. Um, I'm just kind of like an auxiliary player in a lot of things. I have to be able to check the quality of the instruments that I order in. And I do a lot of string tracking here in the studio. Yeah, the feel right here is really nice. Feels good. Kind of a uh, high mid range punch to this. That's really the strongest frequencies, I think. Yeah, it feels good. Brand new string, so we're stretching a little bit. Uh, intonation's perfect from the factory. I very rarely play that high, but... So great job on the setup, guys. Intonation's good. No dead frets. 
Great job. Okay, so this is like a five to six hundred dollar mandolin. Um, it's absolutely a wonderful option. I was looking at the 392, uh, a couple other ones, but this one for the price is just fantastic. The Laura puts out some really cool stuff. I am disappointed that I haven't seen the L, uh, what is it? I think it's the LM400. Um, it looks like it's either discontinued or made for certain manufacturers um, or, or resellers, sorry. Um, but that's one of the best ones that I've played in a long time and I'm not sure why it's discontinued. But uh, this is a nice one in the same range, F style. So it's a little bit, you know, a little fancier. Uh, but let me know what your favorite kind of between that mid range, like five to a thousand dollars, what's your favorite mandolin on the market, uh, both F style or A style? I'd be curious, I'm just kind of getting into this. I have my Gibson, my 1912 Gibson, and I love it. I play a Rover uh, when I just travel around, and a Kentucky, those are pretty fun. Um, I've played some great Eastmans, they're amazing instruments, uh, but they're usually above a thousand dollars. And I'm trying to think of other good ones in that range. I had a Michael Kelly Dragonfly that I really liked, a nice gloss one with the pickup built in, that was pretty cool. Uh, but what other ones should I check out? Let me know yeah. down in the comments and uh, hit like and subscribe so I can keep building this channel. What do you want me to review? We'll see you soon.